Hello everyone, today we're talking about the Marlin 60 and some of the things that I've done to keep it reliable and to make sure that it stays a working rifle. Stick around. All right, first thing I did was that I, um, I put a sling on it. I had to drill a couple small little holes on the stack. to be able to attach these little swivels. That was the first thing that I did to the rifle. Uh, second of all, I got this um, these nice little bush nail scope. I believe this one is was made in the, in the 60s. This is a really old one that I found on a, on a garage sale kind of pawn shop kind of deal. Uh, it's made in Japan. works just fine i didn't want to put something big and clunky right here i wanted to keep it i want to keep the small profile of the rifle just like this uh, another thing that i did to this rifle was um, i ch changed the whole trigger and trigger guard on this rifle now it's made out of some kind of a aluminum alloy of some kind now the safety is really it's really smooth. It's a great improvement on this rifle. For about 75 bucks, I believe, or something like that, I was able to replace the whole trigger guard and trigger, and it's and it works great. If you're gonna do any improvements in your Marlin, it's, it's your trigger. That's the, the best thing you can do about it. And and I, I did that because actually I had to. Because if you notice on this old trigger, first of all, it's made out of plastic. That's bad to start with. Uh, second of all, look at this little crack right there. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, I thought I I thought I did that when I was, uh, you know, just cleaning the rifle and adjusting it. But I think it's a common thing about these rifles because um, once I was doing my research, I found that, that a lot of people had this exact same break there. And uh, and and also the, the safety, super smooshy and horrible trigger. Uh, yeah, pretty bad, pretty bad trigger, trigger guard and everything. So it's a great, uh, great improvement to the rifle to have this new trigger on it. Another thing that I've done to it was the the actual bolt. Um, this one right here, for some reason, I don't know if it was my firing pin or what, but it was not, it wasn't being reliable. So I was kind of troubleshooting, and I ended up finding this. Um, this bolt in, on, on eBay for cheap and, uh, and ended up working just fine and uh, I was having a little bit of reliability issues I was uh, feeding only CCI on it reliably and nothing else was working out good and, and I didn't like that and uh, I did the the nickel the nickel trick on it on the on the ejector spring to make sure that it was working good and uh, once I did all of that the rifle started eating pretty much almost every ammo I put in it and uh, and this this bolt that I put on it it came with this uh, with this new kind of a handle it's kind of like an AK looking kind of handle is the probably an older version of the Marlin I believe this is the one that used to be on it right here so uh, the rifle is working great right now it's really reliable really accurate and uh, and uh, I think it's a great rifle it's affordable I think I got about I got it for about $130 about five years ago or so. So, um, yeah, this is my Marlin 60. And thank you for watching the video, guys. We'll see you next time.